Evening, everybody. It's uh, 627 on Monday evening, the 11th, and this is your closing comment for today. Stocks opened soft and stayed that way and got worse into the close. The Dow was down 413, 1.2%. NASDAQ, again, the big loser, down 300, 2.18%. S&P down 75.75 or 1.7%. Uh, the Russell down 14 and a quarter or 0.71%. And the only one that was up were the transports. And of course, they've gotten pounded for the last two weeks, but they were up 56.48, four tenths of a percent. Uh, the VIX was up about 15%, closed 24.37, and that was up 3.12. Um, you know, that's a little bit better, showing a little bit of concern, but certainly nowhere near uh, those spike highs that we've had, which are uh, in the 28 to 35 uh, area. Oil was down almost four dollars at ninety four twenty nine. Uh, gold was up two sixty at nineteen forty eight, but it actually traded earlier this morning at nineteen seventy four, and I was a little disappointed to see that sell off. Uh, we added to our uh, positions by uh, buying some June calls on uh, SLV. I went out an extra month because if you read my uh, information, either in the Discord room or in the letter last night, you would see I am very bullish on both the gold and the silver. And in fact, this morning when the gold was up about a percent and a half, which was um, almost $30, the silver was up twice that. So uh, on the pullback, I added to the silver. Uh, the uh, Bitcoin closed below 40,000, 39,955, down 2,760. The dollar was up uh, 17 cents and the bonds were down one. As far as stocks go, that one that I mentioned this morning, VERU, which uh, finished a um, trial that uh, turns out did really well in uh, preventing deaths in hospitals with serious COVID issues. Um, closed at 435 on Friday. This morning I was talking about it, you know, up about 80 or 100 percent. It actually traded as high as 1457 and closed 1228, up 793 or 182 percent. The other one that I mentioned, Bicycle, B-Y-C-Y, which had a cancer trial that they put information out. That one had closed at 4699, closed today on disappointment uh, first of all, the trial was small. Second of all, it was only 50% uh, effective. That one closed 28.81 down 18.18, a lot of eights, down 18.18 or 39%. Starbucks here in Boston, two stores voted to go union. They just cannot get out of their own way, whether Howard Schultz is back or not. Um, the stock, as I said, 80.68 down 84. Um, let's remember that 10 days ago, the stock was 92. And at the beginning of the year, it was 118. So this thing has gotten pretty much smacked. Uh, SAIL, sale, 64.05, up 14.46 uh, or 30% on uh, Thomas Bravo doing a 6 Point nine billion dollar taking it private and uh, Tesla and Twitter. Twitter, Elon Musk says he's not going to go on the board. Stock was 4701 up 78, 1.7. And Tesla, 970.16 down 55.33 or 5.4. Percent, um, and last but not least, Nvidia down another twelve five point two percent to two nineteen point seventeen. 
that was down 5.2. But let's remember that not that long ago, the stock was 240. So it's down 24% in less than three weeks. So that's a pretty ugly move for a very hot stock or a stock that has been very hot. Okay, uh, I mentioned this. Uh, I don't usually talk about coffee in the commodities section, uh, but I, uh, I I am talking about it today because uh, it has traced out this really nice bottom. Down, up, down, higher, low and up and breaking out above this 230, 235 area, it closed 236.60. Now, to give you a little bit better perspective, we'll go to the weekly and you'll be able to see why I like this so much. What it basically has done is it cre it had a great consolidation here after a run-up uh, initially from uh, the area of about 92, this is 92, we rallied up to 142. That's a pretty substantial move. And then we spent uh, all of this time, this was December 16th of 2019, slightly lower highs, even high, and then a breakout above 140 again. So it consolidated for 18 months and then had this parabolic move. And all it's done is come back to the last place it consolidated. This high, 215. This high, 215. This high, 214.80, and then the breakout and a run, pull back to the point of breakout, another new high, and has not closed below that 220 number and has started back up. As you can see, the five week, which crossed the 20, has now turned up, and it won't take much if this continues to move up for it to go to, I'm going to guess, a new high. Uh, the 10 year look doesn't change that much, but you can see in the past, it has been over 300. This is 309, 30890. So uh, there's still room for it to run. Personally, I'd rather see it come back down to 200 or 215 again and consolidate a little more. But it looks like, you know, if we break last week's high, which was uh, 239.15. Uh, we're only at 236.60. Um, you know, we're only two and a half dollars away. So, and we were up five today. And as you can see, volume is okay. Open interest is declining, which means short covering. Less contracts out while something is moving up is short covering. All right, everyone. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I hope everyone was safe today. Uh, we took some profits. Um, I want to roll forward in the corn. So we sold the corn, made about 30%. Uh, we bought the silver, as I said. And again, if you missed it, it's on page 20 and 21 of uh, this week's letter. And it's also, uh, I uh, cut and paste it into our main room on Discord, the address, the link for which will be on the front of this video. Have a good evening.